Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, the technological competition between China and the United States can be said to have intensified. The United States has launched comprehensive sanctions and suppression on China in many fields such as artificial intelligence, big data, semiconductors, and driverless technology. In order to promote the announcement of the ban on American companies investing in Chinese quantum technology and artificial intelligence. In the high-tech field, it can be said that the United States has suppressed China without any mistakes, but the most ruthless industry suppressed by the United States is still in the semiconductor field. In order to suppress the development of China's semiconductor industry, the United States can even be said to be unscrupulous. Suppressing the Japanese semiconductor industry back then will completely lock the semiconductor industry in China to the 14 nanometers process. For this reason, the United States has not only established a chip technology quartet alliance with Japan, South Korea and Taiwan to restrict the export of advanced chips and technologies, but also recently signed a tripartite agreement with Japan and the Netherlands to restrict China's access to lithography machines. But what the United States did not expect is that China has made continuous breakthroughs in semiconductor equipment. Not only has it completed the domestic production of 3 nanometers and 5 nanometers etching machines in terms of etching machines, but it has also delivered the first domestically produced lithography machine. Coupled with the fact that ASML in the Netherlands insists on shipping some DUV lithography machines, it can be said that the tripartite agreement has become a joke. China's first lithography machine was delivered. The lithography machine can be said to be one of the most important equipment in chip manufacturing and it is also the most used equipment in chip manufacturing, accounting for 21%. Problem Not only that, but the lithography machine is also the most difficult equipment to develop and manufacture among many chip equipment. The photolithography machine can combine with the photoresist through the exposure of the photon beam, and form a specific pattern on the mask plate by photolithography so as to complete the manufacturing of the chip. According to the latest news, China's first domestic lithography machine SME lithography machine has been delivered. The most important thing is that the performance of this lithography machine is very good. It can achieve detail exposure below 1 nanometer with high precision, high stability and features such as high repeatability. The integration of SME lithography machine is very high, it can independently complete lithography processing, measurement feedback and control functions, and the production process is very advanced, with a high degree of breaking. In terms of processing, the lithography machine can also be applied to the processing of various materials, not only for the processing of metal materials, but also for the processing of biological materials. The superior performance and high integration of the SME lithography machine make the chip products it produces are of high quality which can be used in many fields such as biomedicine, micro-nano optics, and optoelectronic integration, and can be used in semiconductors, memories, sensors, microelectromechanical production and manufacturing of products such as systems and biochips. Not only that, SME lithography machines also have considerable advantages in terms of production costs, which are very beneficial to large-scale production of enterprises. It is also very consistent with the current rapid expansion of Chinese chip manufacturers and the high demand for lithography equipment. It can be used in a large reduce the production cost of chips to a certain extent, promote the technological development and progress of domestic chips, and help domestic chips achieve the goal of 70% of domestic chips being self-sufficient by 2030. Good news from Shanghai Microelectronics again. The tripartite agreement has become a joke. 
the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands formulated a tripartite agreement to restrict the export of semiconductor equipment in order to achieve the goal of locking China's chip manufacturing process at 14 nanometers by restricting China's access to semiconductor equipment. But judging from the current situation, the tripartite agreement is likely to become a joke. The first is that the United States has recently lifted restrictions on the export of some semiconductor equipment on the grounds of explaining the scope of restrictions, and also lifted some export restrictions on U.S. chip manufacturers such as Qualcomm. Secondly, the attitude of the Netherlands on export restrictions is also somewhat vague. On the one hand, it has introduced relevant export bans, and on the other hand, it has emphasized that some lithography machines can still be shipped, and ASML has repeatedly stated that it will increase the production capacity allocated to Chinese manufacturers. The most important thing is that Chinese manufacturers have continuously made breakthroughs in semiconductor equipment such as lithography machines. For example, Shanghai Microelectronics has been able to produce 5 nanometers etching machines, and China Microelectronics has also announced the completion of the technical research and development of 3 nanometers etching machines. Not only that, Shanghai Microelectronics also recently announced that it has completed a breakthrough in the core technical difficulties of the 28 nanometers lithography machine. It is expected that the self-developed 28 nanometers lithography machine will be officially launched at the end of this year at the earliest, and at the beginning of next year at the slowest. Most importantly, according to the news disclosed by Shanghai Microelectronics, this 28 nanometers lithography machine of Shanghai Microelectronics is not only completely independently developed in terms of core technology but also in terms of core components such as lenses, light sources, and dual workbenches. On the other hand, they are all supplied by domestic manufacturers, so there is no need to worry about being cut off from supplying parts by foreign manufacturers. In terms of top-notch EUV lithography machines, Changchun Lithography Machine and Harbin Institute of Technology have also made many core breakthroughs. Not only have they completed the manufacture of the first light source engineering prototype, but they have also made major breakthroughs in multiple core components. This makes China continue to move forward from realizing the localization of EUV lithography. According to the integration results disclosed by many domestic chip manufacturers and supply chain manufacturers, China's semiconductor industry is not far from realizing 100% localization of 28 nanometers chips, and it is expected to be realized in a short period of time. China Semiconductor is backed by China, the world's largest chip consumer market, and the market's driving force for technology can be said to have reached its limit. As the People's Daily said, China should abandon all illusions and insist on core technology research and development. The technical barriers of the United States are not far from being broken by China.